Hello everyone. I have been flying my Cessna 182 for about 11 years now in Costa Rica, Panama, Nicaragua, Mexico, Guatemala, the US, and El Salvador. It is an amazing airplane. I still own it. I really like it. Very capable. And for my kind of flying, has been really good. My favorite flying is of airport and for the 182 is challenging. So I started to look for a tailwheel airplane about a year ago. Because of the nose gear, you have to be really careful when flying of airport in the 182. This size, the gravel bars are a challenge. For the 182, you have to come real slow. Also, you have to land smoothly and take care of the nose gear. Short takeoff. No one really can do it, but it is tight. For comparison, let's see the Cessna 170 in the same gravel bar. This is Arrowhead gravel bar in Skycomis, Washington. As you can see, with the Cessna 170, there is a lot more margin. The approach speed is about 10 miles an hour slower than the 170. So my Cessna 182 is going to stay in Costa Rica for the next few years. And in Costa Rica, we are not allowed of airport operations. So I think this airplane is perfect for the kind of flying I do there. I will be flying the back country in Costa Rica and all around Central America. So I wanted to look for a tailwheel airplane. The Husky was one of the options. I've flown one before and really like them. They're strong, but not enough room. Piper Super Cup was another option, really like this airplane, great performer, but also not enough room. I needed room for three people or for two people and two mountain bikes. The Cessna 180 was another option, it can carry a lot and do of airport operations. But the 180 will feel really similar to my 182. Uh, Cessna 170 with 180 horsepower modification. It's a really nice airplane. It is a lot of fun to fly. It feels light. It's kind of in between a Piper Super Cub and a Cessna 180. This Cessna 170 has the same modifications as 182, Sportsman Soul Kit, VGs, Alpha Systems and more of Attack Indicator, Empty Propeller. It can land pretty short, uh, take me to short gravel bars, enough to have lots of fun. So I'm pretty happy with the decision I made to buy the Cessna Outset. Cessna 
70 also can take off pretty short it gets in the air pretty quickly at uh, very slow speed about 40 miles an hour is flying uh, next gravel bar I will land is the one I'm more fry right now fuel economy is another aspect the uh, 170 is great do this kind of flying and burn about seven or eight gallons per hour. This airplane gives you lots of feedback. You can feel what it's doing. Also it's very light on the controls. The manual flaps are an advantage. You can fine tune your takeoffs and landings with them better than electric. So, why not buying a Husky or a Piper Super Cup? Mainly because I need it a room for the mountain bikes or for the third passenger. I know those two airplanes will beat the Cessna 170 in of airport operations, but not by a lot. And in the Cessna 170 I have room for the third passenger or for the two mountain bikes. You can see here how easy it is to do a canyon turn on the Cessna 170. Here is another canyon turn looking from inside the cockpit. These turns can be done pretty tight in the Cessna 170. Let's see the Cessna 170 in action and what can it do.
really happy with the decision to buy the system 170. I didn't want to get a 180 because when I go on trips to Idaho, for example, I only go with one more person and camping gear, which the 170 can take. And because the lightweight and the feel on the controls, the 170 is more fun to fly. the tail dragger gives you the option to put big tires. This airplane has 31 inch Alaska bush wheels and for airport operations are really good. Makes a big difference. I'm still pretty new as a tail wheel pilot. So practicing a lot and learning a lot. Because pilots never stop learning. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. My Cessna 182 is almost ready, and I'm going to spend the winter in Costa Rica flying it. I hope you guys can join on Patreon and support Backcountry 182 YouTube channel. See you next time. Thank you for watching. It is very easy to join to be a patron of Backcountry 182. Go to the YouTube channel on the right hand side, there is the link, and then it takes you to the patron page. Here you can see all the tiers and what is all about the support for Backcountry 182 YouTube channel. Also, another way to access the patron link is in the description of the video. I put in YouTube on Backcountry 182 channel there is a link for Patreon so just click on that and it will take you to the page thank you for watching it would be amazing if you guys are interested and give some support